All right, Dr. Berger. Uh, so this is uh, Jamil's and Adonai's project. Uh, we start with one of the requirement is that it's supposed to be in a box. So this is our our design. It's in a box. The output comes out of a BNC connector. We have amplitude. We added an offset adjustment and then control buttons and the screen display. So. Uh, I left the top off so we can show you what's inside. This is our design. Um, there is no connection to a laptop. The only connection there is is a, a power cord and an on off switch. Uh, the AC voltage comes into this transformer and then uh, it's a 24 center tap so 212 so 12 zero and 12 volt and then we have we have um, the main board, the control board with the electronics. We're using the Atmega 328 uh, microprocessor uh, and the AD9A33 chip. And then um, we uh, we have an amplifier uh, chip, an op amp, and uh, a couple of relays. One of it for on off. The other one is to switch a, a resistor network. Uh, from uh, sine and triangle to square wave uh, We will explain that later in the, in the project why we had to do that this board right here is the power supply It takes AC voltage and it converts it to positive 12 negative 12 5 volt and uh, obviously a ground the third uh, PCB here is for the screen and the buttons and the potentiometers so that's our uh, that's our design. Now I want to try to get both of them in the same screenshot. This way it is uh, so you see that for sure we are just testing our circuit and not some and not some uh, function generator, <laughs> other function generator. So let's turn it on. Let's see. I hope that this is clear enough for you to see. So on top here, we have the frequency, and then this, the the wave type, and then on off. All right. So the first requirement is the the frequency range from 10 to 110 hertz to 100 kilohertz. So if we put 10 hertz, turn it on. So that's 10 hertz, and then uh, the amplitude should go from 0 to plus minus 5 to 5. This goes a lot more than plus minus 5 to 5, but anyway, that's uh, 10 volt peak to peak, so plus and minus 5. The, we added the offset adjustment. I know it's not necessary, but we added it anyway. Uh, just uh, playing around with ideas, we added that. But for now, that's uh, that's the result for 10 hertz, and then you got tr we got triangle and a square. Mm, that looks weird. Uh, here's a square wave. Adjustable from 0 to a lot more than, than plus minus 5. Then uh, the next requirement is we go to 100 kilohertz. That's the maximum. So there's 100 kilohertz. Yeah, the wave does not look great to be honest. On the square at least it doesn't. Not at this high frequency. Um, then we go to sine wave, it goes above plus minus 5, and then triangle wave from 0 to plus minus 
5 a lot more than plus minus 5 so that's our demonstration I hope this uh, this works and please if you want us to demonstrate other features or other uh, parameters that we uh, left out please let us know and we will make another video thank you